Ahead of Prime Minister Modi's two-day visit to Paris, the French government has given the green signal to Safran to jointly design, develop, test, manufacture and certify a 120 kN high thrust engine that will power the AMCA fighter jet. Authorities have confirmed that France has offered 100% transfer of technology that is free from US international trade in arms regulation. Safran offer covers the full hot section of the engine including the rotating parts, most crucial single crystal blade technology and high pressure compressor, and includes a completely new engine new materials new architecture and stealth compliance, with full supply chains and ancillary manufacturing based in India. The French side has said, that the offer is most competitive by international standards, and the advantage is that it will create a 360 degree capability and ownership of full engine technology by India, and the total process from designing to certification of the manufactured engine will take 10 years from the date of signing. The potential $300 million acquisition of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile by Indonesia is facing a roadblock due to compatibility issues with Indonesia's existing coastal radars and Western origin combat management systems on Indonesian warships. The Indonesian President Joko Widodo has emphasized the importance of technology transfer in defense equipment procurement, and this demand for technology transfer of BrahMos missile further complicates the acquisition process. BrahMos Aerospace has sent a team to Jakarta to discuss the potential sale, but it is evident that the Indonesian side is still cautious, as complexities surrounding technical integration technology transfer and compatibility with Western systems contribute to Indonesia's hesitancy in finalizing the contract. While the Indian Tejas light combat aircraft was initially considered a potential choice by the Philippines Air Force, but recent developments indicate that Philippines is leaning towards the procurement of second-hand Gripen C aircraft from Sweden, which has been offered at a lower price tag compared to the Tejas. The budgetary constraints faced by Philippines Air Force makes the Gripen C a more financially feasible option, allowing the Philippines to acquire a larger fleet of fighter jets within their allocated resources. However, negotiations between HAL and the Philippines are still underway regarding the procurement, and HAL officials remain optimistic and continue their efforts to secure the contract. The DRDO is all set to start fabrication of the airframe sections for Nagmark II anti-tank guided missile along with few other components, which is an improved lightweight ATGM with newer technologies like jet vane control system, improved performance and a minor range pump. The developmental trials are expected to start in early 2024, and it will be integrated into main battle tanks in a twin launcher configuration, with each launcher holding one missile. The Indian Army is procuring the Akashdeer Advanced Automated Air Defense Control and Reporting System from Bharat Electronics Limited worth $241.7 million, which will be fully operational and integrated into the Army's air defense infrastructure by early 2024. It will effectively integrate all Army Air Defense Radar's control centers and ground-based weapon systems, and will monitor and track incoming aerial threats and will provide enhanced situational awareness and response capabilities.